happy Sunday. We are going thrifting today and I have a little bit of a theme while we're looking through the thrift store because I am so lucky I get to go on a little beach vacation soon. So while I'm thrifting, I'm going to be keeping my eyes out for some pieces that I think could be fun for that type of vacation. And I'll also try to share some of my tips as we go of things that you might think to bring on your vacation that I think are typically found at a thrift store because we love to shop secondhand first. So let's go thrift. Today we're gonna to be thrifting at a pretty large thrift store. I thought this would give us the best chance at finding a lot of the pieces that are on my vacation thrift list, as well as being able to see a lot of other fun things along the way. So we're gonna start in the handbags because I think that accessories are one of the easiest ways to add a little something and get you excited for vacation without feeling like you need to thrift an entirely new wardrobe. So I am seeing here in the bags a lot of these kind of basket and raffia styles that feel very beachy to me. You could even pick something like that up that you could use on the beach or poolside to carry your towel and your sunscreen in without having to pick one up at Target. You know, they have those every year, but you can always thrift it. And then I'm seeing some other fun pieces along the way, so you never know what you're gonna find. I also noticed that they had some really decent looking travel bags. So if you are in need of a suitcase or a weekender bag, that's always an option to thrift as well. Next, we're gonna go into the scarves and hats because again, a simple accessory that could actually add a lot to a look and kind of get you re-excited about some of the pieces that you already own. I love to tie a bright scarf in my hair while I'm poolside or on the beach, tie it around your neck in the evenings with a dress or drape it over your shoulders type of thing. It's just a way to add a little bit of interest. And then I also found this fun vintage fascinator. So I had to show you this one. It's a Lord and Taylor velvet one, but I did end up leaving that behind because I didn't need it. They had a lot of bucket hats and kind of those like dad style baseball caps. Again, adding a hat is an easy way to punch up some of your already existing looks that you're loving and just feel like you are doing something special for vacation and also keep the sun out your eyes. I'm looking for a particular style of sort of straw hat that I have seen a lot of people wearing that's sort of a bowler style in this sort of um, light raffia with a black band around it, but I'm open to seeing other styles and how they look on me. So I'm just gonna keep browsing through all of the hats. Luckily, they have a massive selection at this store. In fact, here is an entire aisle of straw hats. So you can see a lot of these probably got worn once or twice on someone's vacation and then they got donated. So you might as well go to the thrift store instead of buying new. There are so many good options and you are gonna be saving stuff from the landfill. There are lots of cute styles here, but I'm not quite seeing that bowler style that I had envisioned. So I think I'm just gonna have to try some pieces on and see if anything sticks. So why don't we get a classic try on montage going? All right, thank you for indulging me. If you grew up in the 80s like I did, you already know, you understand why that had to happen. 
<laughs> We've moved on to the swimwear and I wanted to show you their selection today, but also make a suggestion for those who maybe are not very comfortable with buying swimwear secondhand. You could start by thrifting just the tops if maybe it's just the bottom piece that skeeves you out. Don't forget, if you're a two-piece person, you can thrift the tops fairly easily and that can add some variety to your collection of what you already have without buying anything new. But you also can often find new with tag swimwear in the thrift store because people end up returning something they bought online. All right, we're moving on to the dresses. I think a long flowy dress feels right for my type of vacation. I'm looking for bright colors and patterns that appeal to me, but I also want to stick with things that are going to not be like too on the nose vacation-y because I wanna be able to wear it beyond just the trip and something I can incorporate into my looks throughout the year. Now this gauzy white one, I, I don't know how that would work, but it could be such a cute swim cover up for sure. All right, these are the ones I really like and feel the most like me. I don't know about the cut of this one, but I love that pattern. Look cute with just a black sandal. It's on sale for $3.50. This is like a strapless, wide leg, flowy, one piece jumpsuit, I guess. Um, Kato brand. I like the material and like the flowiness, the pattern in it, but uh, I wouldn't probably not personally ever go strapless, so it's a pass. This one's cute to me. I really like the olive tones and it looks very like light and wearable. This is a New with Tags Anthropology brand dress and I love the black and white together. It's also very like light and flowy, wearable. It was originally $150 and they have $30 on it. Plus they do have a tag sale today, so it would be 30% off, I believe. So that's a nice one. And one that I feel like that style I could wear outside of vacation. Also love this, a little Target brand slip dress in a great brown color. I think it's uh, too small for me though. And this one is like 100% my style. It feels like something you could, could throw on for vacation, but also would be great like day to day with Doc Martin boots or something. I love the 90s Daisy, like yes, yes, yes. I can tell this one's gonna be too small, but someone will be stoked to find it. Now for myself personally, I just have not been feeling shorts this year. I have not been wearing them. I've been wearing skirts instead. So we're not gonna look at shorts. I'm just gonna be taking a look at the skirts for shorter lengths and long flowy lengths. And I am finding some good pieces that I wanna try out for vacation. <laughs> I'm also loving a good flowy pant, especially in like a fun pattern. I can throw these on with a graphic tee or a tank top, even a swim top in the case of vacation. This one had belt loops and pockets, a fun pattern. I'm all in on this pair. And I also found some other bright, funky skirts right here. Again, this feels like something that could be styled for vacation, but also potentially worn throughout the year. I just didn't end up picking up any of these for myself in this case, because I don't think I would have got enough wear out of them outside of the week of vacation. And then totally sidetracked by this beautiful camel colored leather skirt. Can we just appreciate? <laughs> She's a beaut. Don't forget you can check the uh, skirt sets because even if you don't want to wear the jacket right away, you know, you get double bang for your buck. You can wear the jacket later if you find something you like. And uh, there's plenty of like long flowy skirts in there too. Ooh, or a cute little short set. 
if I am gonna do a jacket, I do something like unstructured, lightweight, uh, something I could roll the sleeves, looking for like linens and maybe like neutral tones, so I'm picturing. Like the chambray, but like, it's a bit too structured for what I personally would want, but it could work for like something a nicer occasion. I'm kind of into this one. I don't know, I have to try it on. Yeah, it's cool, but it's too small. I found these linen blend pants in black, which are kind of on my thrift list. Uh, they're just Old Navy, size XL, and they are two bucks. They have pockets, wide leg. I'm gonna think about those. I think that could be a good little staple I could get a lot of wear out of. And then I found these really stretchy, patterned, flowy wide leg pants. Those to me are so fun and like perfect for vacation, but I think I will probably pass. They are five bucks, city knits. I don't think I need them, but it's definitely the vibe. And of course, just like any other thrift trip, we are gonna also check the menswear. What I'm especially interested in for this vacation thrift are oversized button-ups that I can throw on as sort of a light layer on top of, again, a bikini on top of a tank top. Um, we can pull in some fun patterns and again, just another like interesting piece that could be styled a number of different ways. And of course, we're thrifting a lot for clothing in this case because that's my fave, but there are a number of other things that you can pick up for a vacation type thrift that I wanted to mention. And we could look at things like entertainment, including board games and puzzles or movies, music, other media that you might wanna play with while you are on vacation. My family loves to watch a really good movie and a really bad movie every time we go on vacation. So that's something that could be picked up at the thrift store. And of course, other sporting goods like balls or sports equipment that you could use on your trip, uh, travel containers, towels, blankets that you could throw on the beach, water bottles and other picnic supplies that you could use outdoors. Um, it, anyway, there's a lot of ways you could go with this. And of course, thrifting all those pieces could take time, but it also is one of the ways to really maximize the enjoyment of your vacation is the part where you're looking forward to it by planning ahead, starting to thrift those pieces. You're already thinking about your vacation and you're getting a lot of enjoyment out of it before you even go. And then afterward, you could thrift things like photo albums and picture frames to save photos from your trip and have them around you so that you have all those memories nearby you. And again, you're like maximizing the vacation fun throughout the year. Okay, I was looking for a like really loose knit black or maybe olive green sweater like this. Like see the super loose knit. I don't think this one's gonna work. It looks like it's quite small, although I'm sure there's some stretch. I'm not sure about that neckline either, but this could be really fun as a light layer. And then I also spotted this. It's just like a fast fashion sweater but it's really cute and I thought if you have a sweater you like how it fits you but you're kind of like bored with it just throw on some fresh patches like this it probably would take like an hour to customize and then it's got a new life cute all right guys I think we've like got too much of the sections that I wanted to I've got a cart full that I've got to sort through but I think I'm picking up a handful of things this one is too small for me and I decided not to get in for the shop. Just a cool rayon vest. This one, I think I'm gonna pass because they have 13 bucks on it. And I do get 30% off, but it's still gonna be almost $10. And I obviously like have other stuff like this. These are gonna be too small for me and I think they're amazing, but they do have some uh, like sort of like not so great, not so well done repair on the waistband. So I just, I can't take on the project and fix them right now, but hopefully someone else will because they're cool. I think I'm picking up a handful of things today. So we will uh, do like the haul and I'll show you what I end up getting in next. All right, so that was a great thrift trip. I didn't find everything on my list, but I did find a couple of uh, pieces that I think are gonna be really awesome to add to my closet and to use on vacation and beyond. 
it's definitely about quality over quantity when you're thrifting for a trip or any time. And I didn't get to try everything on, so we're gonna do that as I show you the haul and just hope that I did okay. Before I get into the clothing, I wanted to show you, I did find this mirrored tray with like a little kind of gold tone gilded edge. Not sure if I'm saying that correctly, uh, but I have one like this that I use at the flea market every month. I put jewelry that I have for sale on a tray like this. So I thought maybe I could use another one uh, to display things like everything in my booth, almost everything in my booth is second hand uh, for all of my displays. So I try to keep my eyes out when I can thrift something that would kind of zhuzh up the vibe in my flea market booth. And I think when, if and when I'm done with this, I think it'll make a nice gift for someone. $3.99 and I got it 30% off. And then in the accessories, I ended up just grabbing uh, only one thing, just this belt, like kind of a blue violet Western vibe with the um, silver tone hardware. Two bucks and I got 30% off. You guys, I had to get, I had to get this vintage uh, cotton romper with the like kind of western studded detail. It's so fun. Uh, unfortunately, one of the buttons I noticed is broken, so I think maybe that's why why it was donated or why it was still sitting there or I I'm just a goofball and nobody is <laughs> <laughs> thinks this is cool. But yeah, one of the rhinestones is, is broken. So probably what I'm gonna have to do is replace all of the buttons on this. But um, yeah, it won't fit me, so I won't be able to try it on for you. But I did want to um, fix her up and put her in my shop. When I see something that's like a small mend that I can do like this, I feel like it's a perfect opportunity for me to like rescue it and then um, put it in my shop for some amazing petite vintage lover. And that one was $8 and 30% off. Also for my shop, I picked up this cute little uh, like tie front halter. I think this is like a 90s to 70s moment. Uh, definitely very summery or vacation-y. So if it was my size, I think it could have worked for me, but this one is like a medium. So I am hoping to find her a good home. This one was $5 and 30% off. I'm always gonna pick up the wearable cute floral 90s dress. These, I've said it like a million times, it's like, it's my jam, I'll wear these with docks. Um, I wish this one would fit me, but it is going to be something for my shop. Yes, 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 to a dark floral. And I got it for $6.30% off. I know there were definitely a few items I was going to try to remember that I could tell you specifically, but uh, there were definitely a few items that I ended up leaving behind because when I did a final inspection, I found damage or stains that I felt unsure about treating or just didn't want to take on. The way she goes. <laughs> just a cute little uh, 60s smock top, like in perfect condition. It's got this like micro polka dot pattern and pearl snap buttons. It's adorable. And it's small, so it's gonna go in my shop. Uh, and it was only two bucks and 30% off. So I scored some linen and as you can tell, this is my beef with linen. Like it's so, wrinkles so easily. However, I found this vintage one. I think it's a 90s uh, Jones, New York. It's like very broken in. So the linen feel is like, it's not crispy. It's very, very soft. And I really like this brown tone. So I decided to go for it. I got this one for $5 and 30% off. I brought home the Old Navy linen pants. Uh, I am hoping that these fit nicely. Let's give them a try. They were only two bucks on sale. All right, so here's that top. Like, I, I really like this. Um, I feel like I would like it open over like a little, uh, you know, swim top or bralette crop top, even just over a white tee. It feels kind of all seasonal to me, but I definitely want to style it by rolling the sleeves. And then I went with some like just gold jewelry with this. And like, who am I in this full linen fit? I don't know. So like maybe kind of a half tuck with this. Can I like tuck my hair up into this cowboy hat? And I'm like, yeah, there we go. We bring a little Western and that feels a lot like me. <laughs> but I do still have a sandal on. So yeah, I like it. 
not like on the nose beachy, right? But it's, it's loungy and comfortable, which is what I want. I want to be able to like put clothes on that looks like I put in some effort while still being incredibly comfortable. <laughs> I'm taking a chance on this one. Again, I didn't get to try this on, but I love this style. It's a uh, Robbie B 90s rayon dress. Once again, tagged a size 16. And I got this for $8 and 30% off. Woo, okay, here's this dress. It does fit, which I'm so stoked about, honestly. It's got pockets, super stoked about that love that. I feel like the styling on this, I could wear it with sandals if I wanted to like wear it to dinner or something like that, but it would feel maybe a little bit too sweet for my everyday style. So I wanted to maybe add a little bit more like casual elements instead. If it was like a walk on the beach, I think I could do, you know, basically like sneakers or barefoot and then this little straw hat. But I really like this trend that I'm seeing, I don't know, a lot of people style online of um, bringing in a baseball cap to like dress down a cuter or like more dressed up outfit. It's fun. Even like pulling my hair back with it. And then I thought these chunky loafers with the lug sole would also bring in a little bit of an edge. So they don't look fully like teacher core. There's like a little bit of a, a little bit of like a grungier element to it. But I also can see me wearing this in the fall, like layered over a turtleneck maybe, or just pulling on a great jacket, combat boots, of course. I love it, she's a keeper. I decided to go for this green skirt. It's got like the hidden shorts or it's like an athletic or tennis skirt. Okay, I, I'm not sure at all if I'm gonna love this. Um, I do love the color though, and I thought it could be so fun bring in some pops of color, even throwing it on to wear with like a bikini top. I don't know, I could I could see the potential. Uh, I'm just, I'm not totally sure how much wear I'm gonna get out of it. And I hate to say that because I'm, I did try to thrift really like conscientiously, but I think that thrifting is also the chance to take a little bit of a risk and try something that you wouldn't always try. So that's kind of what I did with this one piece. So let's see and I got it for $4.99, 30% off. All right, so actually I like the fit of the skirt and it's it's very comfy. I didn't know what to pair it with though, I realized, because again, I think this skirt doesn't fully feel like me. So this is very tennis anyone for the moment. We're trying this little crop top that I have that I think is a tennis top, actually. It's thrifted. Um, and I have a couple other options. This little ditzy floral, thrifted tank again it's cropped I just I think that kind of leaning toward like the fitted look but again the style just doesn't feel quite like me this top from my closet is a thrift flip from years ago I cut this dress into a two-piece situation I like the blue and green together that's that's actually really fun clip my hair back with this little checker clip please don't ask for a tutorial <laughs> and then I've got these just chunky Doc Martin sandals on it's kind of fun, like sporty, but not. I really just had to resist the urge to style this with a graphic tee because <laughs> that's my go-to for all situations is to put on a cool graphic tee. Yeah, f it. <laughs> there we go. This is me. This with some high tops. This is the comfort zone. I like it. I like it. And honestly, for me, like at the beach, this feels like a comfy, loungy outfit that I could rock. We ended up here anyway. Well, that's it for today. Thank you as always for thrifting with me. If you want to follow along with more of my thrifted content and styling content during the week, you can follow me on Instagram. And of course I'm over on whatnot as well. And I will put the link below. If you join using my link, you get $15 off your first purchase. If you end up finding something that you want to buy on whatnot, or you can just come and hang out with me in my live sales. They're a ton of fun. And all of my other shop information is linked below if you're interested. Regardless, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for all your support. I love you guys. Happy thrifting to you this week and I'll see you back next Sunday for a new video. Just a puppy break. Look how big my baby girl has gotten. Meanwhile, here's Rogue. Hey buddy, you're a good boy. Wow, scrap that entire first clip because my dress was unbuttoned. I sounded like a ding dong. I looked and sounded like a ding dong. Okay.
vacation soon to, and I have a little bit of a theme for this thrift trip. Wow. It sounds like I've been drinking, but I swear. Okay, I'm on a time crunch, so I need to, we gotta do this. Some of my tips for types of things that I think that you can successfully thrift at the thrift store. What? Here's a tip. It's a terrible tip. Um, where, 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 where was I? Are like vacation pieces that you can always usually easy or wow wow come on did i get 30 percent off it might have been 25. it's only been like two days and i have no memory i did i forgot i did have like a whole other thing that i was gonna say wow <laughs> what happened it just like did that on its own why we need hats <laughs> Okay, so, ah, blooper. 